Hey everyone, Kevin from Robertson's Power and Sports. Today we're going to talk about drain plugs on a C2 Spark. We get several phone calls a year saying or asking that they believe that the um, drain plug is missing from their C2. So let me go ahead and show you exactly where the location is of the drain plug on this and why you see a hole that's open. So come on in, let's take a look. All right, so on the C2 Spark, you're going to see two holes in the back of it. One has a plug in it right here. This is your drain plug, okay? And I definitely recommend when you're trailering this machine, leave that drain plug in all the time. And then, you know, when you get to wherever you're gonna to be to store it, go ahead and take the drain plug out, let the boat drain. Um, or when you get to the, the boat launch, make sure that it's in as well, okay? You're gonna see another hole right over here. Th that's where a lot of people get confused. That hole right there is a flush port. So that way there, you can run this on a garden hose um, at the beginning of the season or after you've ridden in salt water, you wanna flush the machine out, just get it running uh, out of the water. This is where you hook the hose up to. There is no plug that's supposed to go there. So don't be alarmed if you see that right there. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure you got one right here. And again, when you're traveling down the road, make sure that's, that's in there. That way there, it doesn't fall out. There's just a little plastic barb on the inside and sometimes those will tend to break from jumping around a lot uh, going down the road. So, hope this video helped you out. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, I also put a link um, right above here to our other video talking about drain plugs and full-size watercraft as well, because those have two. So, be sure to check that one out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.